Welcome back uh, to our last example on applying the weighted residual methods to get finite element models. Uh, in this example, we will uh, present how we derive the element equations for a bar element with non-constant uh, cross section. In this case, we will have uh, uh, an element that starts at node 1 with a certain area and uh, ends at node 2 with another area. The change in the area will be described by a function, area as a function of x. Uh, we will need to use that into our equations to uh, properly present the uh, uh, element equations We will use uh, this changing value of the area into uh, the equations that resulted from the Gallatin method. We'll see here that we already used uh, the derivatives of n of x uh, to get the stiffness matrix of the element. However, this time we will add to it a of x uh, as a function uh, that changes, so the resulting matrix should be changing. So to do that, we will use a symbolic manipulator. Uh, the one that we're going to be using here is uh, called uh, Maxima. It's an open source symbolic manipulator. It's extremely powerful. I love to use it always. And the best thing that it has is that it's for free. Uh, and we'll see uh, how to write down uh, the uh, program using Maxima step by step. Uh, the whole program is already available on the website. You can download it uh, by clicking on it uh, in order to run it right away and use it further if you'd like to. Okay, uh, we start uh, by defining the uh, edge vector, which is a matrix. Uh, this matrix uh, is, uh, has two elements. It's a row matrix uh, or a row vector. The two elements are 1 and x. Uh, pressing uh, Shift-Enter uh, on the keyboard inputs that piece of information into uh, the uh, memory of the computer. The following line will be defining the derivative of h. We call that hx, which is equal to a differentiate uh, of h with respect to x. Uh, multi, uh, 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 just again, shift enter. Now, h of x is defined into the memory. Let's also define a uh, as a function of x in which it will be equal to a1, the area at uh, the node uh, of x equals 0, uh, multiplied by uh, l minus x, uh, all divided by l. Uh, plus a2 multiplied by x over l. So this is the function for a. Uh, notice here when uh, uh, I multiplied, you have seen a dot, uh, but this multiplication is generated by uh, uh, pressing the asterisk on the keyboard, and uh, what's displayed is just the dot, as you can see here. Now, we will tell uh, the Mathematica uh, to, uh, sorry, the Maxima, to uh, uh, create the transformation matrix. So we'll say at x equals 0, uh, semicolon. Uh, to get a new line, just press Enter, not Shift Enter. Uh, and uh, we will uh, get TM1. Uh, define 
define it as H uh, and we'll ask Maxima to numerically evaluate that. There you are. And then uh, we will uh, change the value of X uh, to be equal to L. And then uh, we will get the second equation of the second row in the transformation matrix as Uh, here you are. Uh, sorry, I did something wrong. Here I forgot to add a semicolon. Uh, finally, we will create uh, the T, uh, the transformation matrix will be equal to, sorry, defined as matrix of T1, the first row of T1, comma, T2, again, the first row. Here you can see the matrix. This is the transformation matrix as we got it in uh, the lecture before. Uh, now we will uh, create an inverse uh, uh, of the T matrix. Uh, we will define it as invert uh, TM. Here is the inverse. Then uh, in order to be able to perform the integration, we will have to kill uh, X that's to return it from uh, being defined as equal to zero or equal to L into a variable uh, X uh, as it uh, should be. Then we uh, will say that the element matrix, the surface matrix of the element is equal to or is defined uh, as the uh, transpose of T1 times, here we will need to use a dot instead of an asterisk, integrate of the uh, transpose of uh, HX dot Again, this is a dot, not an asterisk. That's why it appears uh, uh, low on the line, uh, HX. Now we will use an asterisk times the area. So we are integrating H transpose times H times the area. This is all what we're going to have in the integration, comma with respect to X from zero to L. Then we close the integration and again uh, uh, multiply that dot uh, the inverse uh, of uh, sorry dot uh, the t matrix. Here the uh, the integral is performed right away. You can see that in each of the terms you have a1 plus a2 over 2. Uh, which is the average area actually. Uh, remember that here we defined the area as a linear function. We could have uh, defined it as any other function, but uh, uh, in our case we used a linear function so we can have actually a1 plus a2 over 2, which is the average area over the length. So we end up uh, with uh, the equations uh, here. As the stiffness matrix will be the average area minus the modulus of elasticity over the length, which is very similar to uh, the original uh, bar matrix in which we had the area multiplied by the modulus of elasticity over R, multiplied by uh, the matrix 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1, exactly the same one that we used before. 
uh, where we define the average area as A1 plus A2 over 2. Now we have used uh, the uh, maxima or the symbolic manipulator to uh, uh, create a new matrix. Uh, we will use uh, maxima uh, as a symbolic manipulator to create uh, uh, most of the coming uh, equations or the coming problems. We will use symbolic manipulators to simplify our integration procedure. Uh, we can see here uh, that uh, um, it, it's generated right away. Of course, of course, these are very simple problems that can be solved by hand. All the integrations can be uh, performed by hand, but we are introducing the tool so that when the problems are more complex, we can still use the same tool in, by the same way to get uh, the results we are looking for.